Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when feet and preparation combine The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Ryle representing for I Just Star Mindset Rich forever Mindset, blessed love, manners and respect. I want to greet the item in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Il Selassie I, the Empress Menin the First, Holy Manuel I, King Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. One more day above ground, beautiful viewers and subscribers, as you know, life is our ultimate position. No, no greater than that, no matter what I go on. Zin. So today we are all the way in Zimbabwe. Zin, and we have a special guest on the line today. Um a reggae artist, Zin by the name of Ganja Tricks. Zin, and more of you introduce him to the mindset program. Blessed love, honorable. Yeah, greetings, uh, I just have, you know, greetings, uh, all the viewers worldwide, you know, yeah, man, Africa, we there, Rastafari, now. Rastafari, yes, Ganja Tricks, great honor and a pleasure to have the eye here, um, on the platform. Saying, uh, it's an honor for me to my brethren, saying, because I, I'm also, uh, like, uh, one of your followers, you know, on your channel. Yes, I give Same. thanks. Yeah, man, give thanks. Give thanks. We say they I comment Blessing. more while for real. Yes, I. Same. Yes, Ganja Tricks. So, all right. Um, they I they I born in Zimbabwe, right? Yes, I was born and raised in Zimbabwe, man. Yeah, Africa. Africa, Rastafari. All right, talk to me about um growing up in Zimbabwe. uh you know like most 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 of uh not just zimbabweans but most people in africa you know they are connected to the countryside you know but um during the colonial era you know uh, most most people had to migrate you know into the cities uh but still kept their countryside roots you know because that's the place of origin so i'm in uh, a town called Redcliffe, uh, just adjacent to a city called Kwekwe, and I'm in a ghetto called Toad. Um, but my parents, they came from Mashingo. Um, if you know, like where, where the country derives its name, you know, like Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe it means uh, a ho like a house of stone, you know. See it. House of Stone, that's what it means, yeah, from the, what, what's called like the Great Zimbabwe, you know, the ancient city mm -hmm. with the walls which were which were built like um, centuries ago, you know, uh, which ended up being credited to, to to some some scholars, they wanted to say it's, it's the Arabs, you know, who built, who built that, or it's the Portuguese who were coming in for trade who built that, because, just because they didn't want to give us the credit. But actually, it's Aina ancestors, Aina Hill, uh from that place um and it's like i'm a direct descendant of the kings from that place so See. yeah that's why you 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 hear in my music i also say that uh, i'm a grandson of an african king mm -hmm. you see yeah but but I, I i it's like i grew up in the in the ghetto but my parents would take me uh to the countryside like almost like every holiday you know 
uh, so so that I, I could also familiarize with the life in the countryside. So it's like I grew up partly in the in the city, partly in the countryside. You know, yeah. See it, see it. All right. Um. So as 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 a youth, I grew up in a in a in a Zimbabwe. So talk to me about some of the things them you know what you don't normally do as a you know as a youth. Um, from from before school, definitely. Uh, before you attend school, you know you'll be uh, playing child games. You see it. Uh, if you're in the countryside, you know you'll be herding cattle, uh, playing games out there, um, playing by the river, you know, other kind of thing. Uh, yes, but um, we also go through like um, sports. Uh, when you're at school, there it's either you it, it, you have a one or two sports that you do. Uh, as for me, I was um, uh, actually a talented player. Most people they thought that I was going to be a football star. You know, um, yes, and um, like uh, uh, growing up uh, under this um, colonial system, you know, mm. uh, whether it's now the the the, the, the um, uh, black government which have taken over, but still like this, um, more or less the same system in terms of uh, system has programmed us, you know, to to set like. A precedence in terms of what we can be and what we cannot be, you know. So it's hard for you to come out there and uh, uh, grow yourself as an artist like the way I am. You know, you have to go through serious struggles, you know, uh, in terms of um, the society, you know. Uh, yes. Um, it's like people look down upon artists, you see. Uh, I think maybe it's the same thing that you also used to have, like even even out there in in, in the West, uh, maybe so, 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 in Jamaica. So you when it, when when I say people yeah. look down upon you, like 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 who, like what um, native <laughs> Zimbabwean? Yes, uh, it's part of the mindset. <clears throat> you see, mm. uh, the programmed mindset that that the people have, you know. Um, because we are set to work in the factories, you know, and um, yeah, set is the system, you know. Uh, you've got the curricula from primary uh, education, secondary education to college, you know, uh, and the emphasis is not on talents, you know. Uh, people, they value education more than talents. Mm. Uh, what the world gives you. They think it's more important than what the Most High has given you, because from when you're when you're born, you know you are endowed with these talents and True. Uh, capabilities. Yeah, but it's like the society now it's set up in a way that you know whatever like you want to pursue something like music, you know, even from in, in your own family, you know, uh, in your own community, you know. Uh, people will start look, uh, looking down upon you to say, no, 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 no. Why Why is he doing that? You know, It's like something that you have to do because you don't have anything else to do, you see. But for me, it was kind of like different because I used to excel in class, you know. So the time now, I said, no, I'm going to pursue uh, my music. It was madness, you know. People thought I was going mad, you know. It's the same time I embraced also Rastafari, you know, uh, in terms of spiritual and social uh, consciousness, you know? So, from I embraced Razafar at the fullest, and I, I, I took the music route, then it's like I was now a madman, you know, in the society. Until now, people started realizing, no, actually, uh, we are following the light, you know? But it took them several years, you know? Time. Several years, like 10, 15 years, for people not to start, you know, respecting me. I am, you know, and to see, no, uh, actually, we've got a clear vision of what we we we, we are doing, you know, and uh, yeah, we've got a connection with the Most High. Actually, it's a divine calling, you know, but you have to fight for that and you know establish yourself in terms of that. It's not like given in a platter. It's not like the society is is set up in a way that it's easy for you to do that. No, you actually you can 
give up. You can easily give up, you know, because there's so much that you have to go against for you to to be an artist, um, especially from the time that I started. Uh, now it's, it's, it's getting a little bit better. But from the time I started, like, um, um, you know, like Bob Marley came through Zimbabwe. Uh, yeah. When he did that song, uh, Zimbabwe. I and I liberate Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. And it was during the independence, you know. So it's like he did um, set up the, um, the, 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 the roots in terms of Rastafari, you know, uh, initially, you know. Uh, but still, after all that he had done, people would not like embrace Rastafari or to embrace um, uh, the idea of uh, youth, you know, pursuing the, the, the arts route, you know, it took some time. See it, see it. Yeah. So, oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, um, how did the music start for the idol? Um, like I'm saying, uh, you know, with music, it's, it's God given, my brethren. Because um, um, before I, 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 I kind of like explain on my personal note, um, you know, if you go to, 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 to even the scriptures, you know, Psalms 87. You know, when it says foundations of the holy mountains, the Lord loves the gates of Zion than the dwellings of Jacob. You know, it goes on to say, um, "Be all feast and tire with Ethiopia." This man was born there, and also it goes on to say, uh, "As well as singers and players on instruments shall be there." Mm-hmm. You know, and say, "All oh, my springs are in the Rastafari." You see, and which means that you know there is a connection uh, with music and uh, His Majesty works. So with me now, I grew up listening to um, Bob Marley, Peter, a lot of cheap, Peter Tosh, Bob Marley, uh, Joseph Hill, and other local music like uh, Thomas Mopumo, uh, Oliver Mtukud, you know? Um, I, I didn't know that I was going to be a musician, but when I look back now, given uh, where I am now, I can simply realize that Jai has always been growing me to be a musician, you know, so it's like it's still a lot of um, cultural consciousness in me, you know, and the love for my people and the love for righteousness, you know, because of the music that I listened to, you know, it, See. it kind of like set me uh, in a certain path until like um, in the mid '90s, you know, uh, the, the artist who really like um, triggered me into now saying, no, I have to be part of this music making, uh, was Gareth Soul. You know, when Gareth Soul died, you know, actually it really affected me. You know, I did share, the, share my tears for the man, boss. I used to listen to him day in and day out, you know. I, his music was so clean, you know, and it resonated with my spirit, you know, so much, you know. Yes, I sir. couldn't believe that such a, a powerful, righteous, progressive person would be eliminated, you know, from the face of the earth, you know. Uh, that's when it awakened me and I said, no, I have to be part of this. Uh, I have to try and contribute in my own little way, you know, so that we preserve this culture, preserve this consciousness, we preserve this positivity, you know, this message, you know. That's when now I went into, in, 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 the first thing that I did, uh, uh, I went into sound system here in Zimbabwe, South system, South system culture was like, um, yeah, was um, quite strong, you know. In fact, it was quite booming, you know. Uh, that's that, that's in, like in the in the nineties. So I, I joined like Star Time Superpower Sound, which is in the I now moved to the capital city. I joined Star Time Superpower. Yeah, it was a very big sound then um, with um, selectors like uh, Colin J, Lekupi, JJ, um, Eddie Muffin. And also with Rasi Ai there. And then uh, also at the same time I was working with a live band. There's an elder, Rastafari elder, who had uh, repatriated, you know, in, in, into Zimbabwe called Elder El, Elder Jablani or Trevor Hall. Uh, he did set up a band where we would come and rehearse, you know, and uh, stage, you know, would do like see the Bob Mali shows and some other shows, you know. So I started like doing mostly covers, Ghana still covers, you know. 
before I went into my music. Then I got an opportunity for me to record like six uh, six years later. That was in 2002. The first song that I recorded uh, became a national hit here in Zimbabwe. It was called Dadane Ruziruako, which means uh, be proud of who you are, like be proud to be black, you know? And it, it, it hit number one. So f- for me, it, it's always been about this consciousness and this message, you know? Uh, because that time, if I remember, we were the pioneers of urban music in Zimbabwe. And uh, uh, the level of consciousness, the music, the message that I was bringing out, uh, and the others who were around me, you know, and who got more hype than uh, than me. Uh, they were singing mostly uh, love songs, you know, that kind of thing, you know. Yeah. So from there, also, um, because of the fights that I was having, uh, I took kind of like a break in, in music and um, in terms of recording and performing, but I was still writing my music. And uh, uh, because of my education background also, I was now um, uh, uh, working in the corporate world. You know, I did, uh, I did like manage um, at, at the highest level, more than like 250 people under my charge. You know, I was working for uh, like the biggest uh, agro-based institution in Zimbabwe called Grain Marketing Board. See. I was the assistant depot manager, one of the biggest depots in the country. You know, uh, because I'd done... Uh, diploma in accounting, had diploma in accounting, and then I ended up um, going uh, to the university uh, where I also did a, a management for executive uh, the University of Zimbabwe, like postgraduate uh, diploma, and then I did MBA, financial services, master in business administration, financial services. Um, yeah, I only did not complete my dissertation, but otherwise I passed all the taught courses, you know, like 21 taught courses, you know. Um, and then from there now, uh, I had to make up my mind to say, no, I'm not complete if I don't uh, finish this music business, you know? Then I went back now. Uh, I started uh, performing. That that During those days, uh, in some system times, uh, I used to record Aija San. That's when I even uh, linked up with Buju. Buju was uh, very close to me when he came through. Freddie McGregor, Marcia Griffiths, you know? Um, a Judy Moat, they came through and we, we, we did move uh, together. I did, I did open for them uh, yeah, back in the days there, but Udu was like close to me. You know, uh, some people didn't know me that much because I wasn't recording that time. They thought I'd come from Jamaica, you know. Uh, you used to call me Joseph, you know, because I was born in February. You used to call me Joseph and you used to call him Judah, you know. Uh, yeah, and we. we we, that that was then, and then when I came back now, I I I, I, I like around 2018, yeah, I started making more hits now in in Zimbabwe now, and now I was using the name Jabless, um, simply because I didn't want to 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 kind of like say I'm that same artist who's now back, you know. Mm-hmm. I wanted my music to speak more for myself, and people started realizing no, I'm still that uh, pioneer of urban music. Uh, but I'm now just back using another name, and then I I, I did uh, create some national hits, you know. Uh, until when I started thinking global, now I realized, you know, if I would go go on the internet and I type jobless, a lot of things were coming through, and I realized there's a lot of joblesses, you know, around the world. So uh, I had I, I had to force myself to kind of like uh, rebrand, so that now at least. I come up with something very unique, something that when you go even online, you know, and search for ganja tricks, there's no other ganja tricks. It's just me and me alone, the whole world, you know. That's when I put out now this album, Born to Lead. And uh, yes, um, we started uh, receiving um, um, very good attention with some other tricks like Waymaker. And uh, um, here and there, I started getting like airplay uh, and also like interviews in the US, the UK. Uh, uh, Ghana, Nigeria, uh, Kenya, you know, Malawi, uh, yeah, in some other places, you know, I started getting like, like uh, airplay, you know, uh, not See. massive per se, but I started, you know, people, be, you know, began to embrace my music, even there in Jamaica, one or two selectors, you know, I've got some videos with them playing my music in Jamaica, so um, it's kind of like penetrating, so I'm, I can say I'm 
uh, beginning to get this embrace. That's why also um, I see you, you, you also interview very renowned artists, eh? but maybe it's through the power of my music that you also feel you can also give me a platform for me to air uh, myself, you know, who I am and where I'm coming from and uh, possibly to pave a way uh, in terms of where I'm going. So, yeah, this is it. 2020, uh, 2022, and I've, I've, I've got a remix um, of the song Born to Lead um, that that has been released like a, a month ago, uh, produced uh, in the US. Uh, so one producer picked, it's called uh, Excel Mix Master. He did pick on my song, uh, and then he loved the song, and he felt uh, he could do a remix, and notably he has done some other successful remix, Cutty Run, Spawnhead, uh, uh, Sean Paul in terms of in, in, in terms of uh, reggae, you know, he, he sold more than two million records. Sean Paul, you see, and then uh, he's done Beyonce, uh, Megan Stallion, and some other uh, uh, American artists. And also something interesting about my remix, um, there's also like people who came in there who contributed, uh, kind of like also seasoned um, uh, musicians. For example, the saxophone was done by uh, Alvin Davis, who is in Birmingham. Uh, he's a renowned saxophonist, Alvin Davis. Yeah. Um, and also, like, the backing vocals, um, they were done by Nina Kell, uh, K-A-R-L-E. You know, she's called with Joseph Hill, Richie Stevens, Richie Spice, you know. She's done uh, studio works with people like Busy Signal. So, yeah, that's the, also the kind of people who have also contributed into this remix that we are pushing and, and we are talking of today. Yeah, this is where we are now and we're looking forward, you know, to reaching out to the world. Yeah. Yes, I. So, um, talk to me about um, the, 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 the band that you were a part of. Uh, the band that I went with. Yeah, you were a part of a band called, was it? Yes, yes, because it, it initially it was called Rough Mix, huh? Yeah. And, um, uh, and um, when I joined, it was Rough Mix. And then from there, we created um, a, a new band from that. Uh, we dismantled that one and created Crucial Mix. Um, that band now, it was like, um, uh, Different from the way it is, like right now in Zimbabwe. Right now in Zimbabwe, now there's a lot of like um, uh, artists now. There's a lot of artists, but back then you would count the artists of our generation in terms of uh, reggae and dance. Or we we're around ten, maximum fifteen, you know. So this like this was like kind of like Roots Radix kind of like setup, you know, uh, rough cut kind of like setup. You know, Sly and Robbie, where uh, the band is there, and then the artists will come and um, work with the band. So it was it, it was in such a way that when we stage uh, shows, it will be like the whole team of artists and and the band. So it was like one family, you know, with um, the um, players of instruments there, the the guitarists, you know, the keyboardists, the drummer, and then the lead singers. Uh, where the artists who will, uh, each, each artist would come and perform their set, you know, and uh, that's what um, ushered us into the uh, into the music industry. Yeah, uh, and we give thanks for, for the elders like uh, Trevor Hall, you know, <clears throat> he, 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 it was his initiative, you know, and although we teamed up with him, but he was like the man behind that, you know, and yeah, that has um, helped uh, set up uh, a platform, you know, for, for reggae and dance. So up to now, where we ended up having like um, studios now in the ghettos, and we ended up having like what's called this side Zim Dance, uh, which is like yeah, a sound where it's, it, it's dance, but it's got a fusion of like Zimbabwean instruments and other forms of forms of playing. That's why it was called Zim. It, 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 it's called Zim Dance, you know. Yeah, uh, but everything was set during that time that I'm talking about, you know, or when we used to, we didn't have access to the studio to record, but 
we were just playing live gigs. Same, same, same. All right, um, talk to me about um, you know, you had, you had, you had President Mugabe, Zane, and now he's not around. Um, talk to me about uh, the rule. You know what it was like um, under the rulership of Mugabe, comparing to now. Um, it's um, it's kind of like a tricky one. Uh, but what I can tell you, um, uh, you know, each man, you know, is not perfect. Every man is not perfect because we are coming from an era of um. Uh, I talked of the ancient kings, you know, uh, pre-colonial, right? And then into the colonial era, and then into the black government era, which was led by now, the, 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 the late uh, Robert Mugabe, make... you know? He had his own successes, though, and he had all, also his own, uh, like, um, weaknesses, because he's, he's human, you know? Um, his enemies would like to see me criticizing him, and his um, um, supporters would like to see me supporting him. But I would just simply say that he was human. He had his good and he had his bad, you know? Uh, at the international stage, you know, he was so, we admired him because he was so bold. He articulate things from a black consciousness perspective, you know? That's why most Africans, you know, in the world, they, 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 they respect him. You know, it's, it's it's because of that. You know, See. one leader was so bold to 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 to, to stand for what Af Africa stands for. You know, but also back home he had his own weaknesses again. You know, there was corruption going on in the government. Uh, uh, the economy was also, uh, although uh, there was some significant progress, the economy also was going down. You know, so that's why I'm trying to say. Uh, it, was, it wasn't like perfect, you know, and then for also those who, who, who took over, you know, uh, they're trying whatever they're also trying to do, you know, their best, you know, but they're also human, they've got also their weaknesses, you know, mm. so yeah, and also, but what, what, what I know, you know, deals with, you know, as a Rastafari youth, you know, uh, I'm all about the music, and the music is the most important thing to, to me, you know. So my music is loved throughout the country. The other people support this other party, the other people support this other party, you know? So my music is not there to divide the people, but my music is there to unite the people. Mm -hmm. Say, after all is said and done, you know, we are one people, you know? So this is where we come in, and, uh, and even within the NABING guidelines, it encourages us to be nonpartisan. And I see the wisdom of the elders, why we should be nonpartisan. You see, because if I start dividing my friends, say, okay, uh, me, I'm for this party and these people, I, 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 we lose the objectivity of us being the unifiers of the people. So by the end of the day, we have to unify the people. You know, just like even what Bob Marley did when he, um, um, he had to bring on stage. Uh, uh, Edward Siaga and Michael Manley, that part of history, you're, you're quite familiar with that. Mm. Because he realized that for the pluralized society, you have to bring the people together. So we are still continuing with those works. You know, we want to bring the people together. Who uh, the people want to vote for is their own business. They are all mature people. They know what they want, it's their choice, their democratic right. They vote for whoever they want to vote for. You see? But we are not there to influence, say, this is this vote for this one, this one is right, this one is wrong. No, it's not, it's, it's not our duty. Our duty is to say in whatever you are doing as a people, because also uh, in Zimbabwe, we, we are in, in a volatile time, because we've got elections coming next year. So our message is clear, you know, peace, love and unity. After all it's said and done, we are one people, you know. Let's not kill each other because of politics, let's not uh, destroy each other because of politics. Because we've always been there before the politics and we shall always be there after the politics, you know? So uh, this is where we are coming in, you know, uniting the people. Yeah. Yes, I. Yes, my brother. And um, 
we're gonna leave it on, on on that positive note there you know uniting the people we are one people and you know we should Same. we should stand you know together um rather we are um on the continent uh, we are here out in the diaspora we are one african nation so um ganja tricks it's been an honor and a pleasure but before the i move um please tell the people where they can um you know find you on the social um platforms uh yes um uh, mostly you can find me um on facebook uh that's the uh, most active platform uh where i'm very active i'm still growing my socials but my facebook now is quite active um entertainer ja bless official entertainer is one word ja is another word bless is another word and then official is another word entertainer ja bless official that's my um official um facebook page i've got another facebook page as well but which is the second one which has got uh ganja tricks uh, and you and, and on, on twitter you can also look for ganja tricks and uh, instagram ganja tricks but the most active is, is is my facebook and but you can also get personal with with me you know uh i'm that person that artist who interacts with people you know and so you can um uh, whatsapp me uh on plus two six three uh seven seven two two nine four three eight nine i'll repeat that plus two six three seven seven two two nine four three eight nine and also my music you can find it on all digital platforms you know spotify itunes or whatever see it amazon you know deezer you can you, you can find my music just look for 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 ganja tricks even on facebook if you want to create a story using my music you know, on TikTok, you can, you can as well find my music. Yeah, that's what I can say. Yes, my brother. Yeah, man, give thanks. And, um, you know, continue doing what you're doing. Continue making those um, positive music. And, um, you know, keep growing, you know, and um, spreading your wings. Yeah. Yes, yes, I keep growing and spreading your wings, my brother. And, you know, don't deviate from um making good positive content because you know that is imperative so more blessing more love my brother more guidance and more strength upon the i journey see it's been an honor for you have the ip on the platform uh give thanks my brethren and just a uh, message to the world you know yeah uh, we are one people you know uh into my brothers and sisters um in the diaspora Yes, uh, don't, like Bob Marley said, uh, uh, you cannot uh, give up the, a continent for an island, you know. So, yeah, the dream mustn't die, you know. The Marcus Garvey dream mustn't die, you know. Uh, Ayri Selassie dream mustn't die, you know. Yeah, destiny, you know. We are one people. Um, we are not the ones maybe we are going to do everything. But uh, it's our calling, you know. Let's do the best that we can in setting up the new Africa. Rastafari. Rastafari. Yes, my brother. Yeah, man. Manners and respect and give thanks again for taking the time. Zin? Pila. Yes, I. Ja. Rastafari. Yes, honorable family. Dear the item. Have it. Zin? Yeah, man. Um, artist by the name of Ganja Tricks. Um, have a powerful song out there now. Title. Um, Lido Jalid at Jalid. I don't even remember if a Jalid, but um, it's a powerful song. And what we are gonna do, we are gonna drop, we are gonna drop um, a link in the description so the item can um, check out the song. All right, so give thanks and um, reason with we in the comment section. Let me know your views, your thoughts, and what's been said here. Remember, support new talent. Zin, yeah, man. Positive music, support positive music. All right, and before we move, check this out. Introducing to you a hot reggae song, No Lies, by artist Mosiah, available on all.
introducing to you now a hot reggae song no lies by artist mosiah available on all digital download platform apple music spotify available now no lies by mosiah stream now subscribing see you on the next video i just start the mindset Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just start the mindset.